Hello everybody. Um, today I want to show you how to pull historical stock market data using PHP. Uh, first we want to start by going to Google and doing a search for Apple stock prices. This is the company where I'm going to use in my example today. Um, go to Google Finance. Um, on the left hand side you see a link that says historical prices. Click on that. And on the right hand side you see an option to, ex to ex export this data to a CSV file. But what we're going to do instead of clicking this link, we're just going to right click and copy the link address and carry this back to our IDE. Alright, so now we're going to start coding this out. Uh, I'm going to create a URL variable to hold our URL address. And just like our previous, um, just like in our previous video, I'm going to use the file get content method. So data variable to hold the CSV data and file get content. All right. And I'm going to print this out to see how far we've come along. All right. So I'm running all this on my local server. So if I hit refresh, okay, I can see we are we are now actually pulling um, Apple's historical data. And as you can see, each closing day is separated by a line, by a new line, and delimited by commas. All right, so that tells me basically I need to explode this data by line first, by each line. So let's go back to the IDE and do that. So let's take that out and call this row, and we're going to explode that data. Explode by new line first. Data. And just like before, let's just see we our progress. Hit refresh again. Alright, we got a issue somewhere. Let's go back. Oh there we go. We'll take this ass off. Now let's go. Let's see what we got. Boom. All right, so now we have a way to iterate through each line. So now we just need to explode based on the comma. Uh, let's take this back out. I'm going to use my trusty for loop. And copy this row variable here. All right, so let's, let's explode each row by comma. So we can stick comma here and we need to iterate through each row. So we're going to say row brackets x you know, and we need a variable to hold all this data. And since it's broken out by day, so we're just going to call it day. Collect it all and let's print this out to see what we got. Sorry, we'll make another mistake. There you go. And let's hit refresh again. Boom. Okay, so there you go. That's Apple historical data for like the past year. Now, you can take it to a next step and log into this, all this into a database, or you can even extract more information on, from it. It's up to you. Um, see right now I'm just going to take out this this first header okay so instead of starting at 0 we're going to start at 1 come back boom there you go thanks guys